This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 10. It says, I, the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, search the heart. I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. Okay? I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Baasham, Rachachakodash. I want to give double honors unto the elder high priest that taught my elder apostles. I want to give double honors unto my elder apostles and elder bishops at Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the elect. All right, starting with the hundred and forty-four thousand, the governing body which are men. All right, I want to say peace and blessings unto the one third. Okay, of the nation of Israel. All right, which consists of men, women, and children, okay? And this is the brother Atazaria from the Great Millstone, Houston. And I'm reading from the book of Jeremiah, the 17th chapter in the 10th verse. I'm going to go back through it. It says, I, the Lord, Yahweh, all right, Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai, search the heart. The heart is what? The mind, okay? So the Heavenly Father can search our thoughts not only does he search out thoughts he puts those thoughts into one's mind okay everything is controlled by the heavenly father okay there's nothing that's not controlled by him okay everything all right that's i like that uh there's a series called loki on the uh disney channel and there's this uh character played by this uh guy uh jonathan majors okay uh, what is his name uh i think his name is uh shit, i can't remember anyway he's kane but he he just he's like the creator Okay, and it's a Jake at that, you know, but he was telling them in the, you know, in the uh, series because they thought they had found him, you know, because they, they had ended up finding out where he was. Okay, the two characters that were looking for him, the one that had created everything that uh, existed around them, you know. And um, when they got to him, he told them, he said, you know, y'all think y'all found me, you know, but every step that you took, I put you on the path to get here. Okay. So saying that to say the most high, Yahweh Bashimi Abashai, that's why he's called the most high. Okay. Because he is in control of everything. Okay. There's nothing that happens that the Heavenly Father doesn't commission to happen. Not only that, he already knows it's going to happen. He already knows everything that is ever going to be. So, back in Jeremiah 17 and 10, it says, I, the Lord, search the heart, meaning the mind. Okay? I try the reins, even to give every man according to his ways. What does that mean? Okay. According, every man according to his ways. Meaning, everything that one does within their lifetime, okay, there's a consequence for everything, whether it be good or whether it be bad. Okay. So, if you sow, if one sows wicked seeds, okay, and, you know, of course, wickedness is going to come out of that. Well, the Heavenly Father is going to give that man according to his ways, okay, meaning his conversation, okay, how he carries himself, what he does, okay. Is he a follower of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh okay. And that's only pertaining to the Israelites, okay? Because we're the only ones 
that can follow Yahweh Bashim Yahweh right now. Okay? When the kingdom comes, okay, everybody is going to reverence Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? But right now, the world ain't supposed to, even the majority of our own people ain't supposed to uh, like the Lord and his son. Okay? You even got Hebrew Israelites that know they Jake that don't like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. They hate Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Okay? And they're going to be judged according to that. Okay? Just like the elect is going to... Uh, be judged according to their ways, which are ways that are pleasing to the Most High. So there's a good reward for that. For the bad behavior, there's a there's a reward of destruction. Okay? See, the elect is going to receive a mark of exemption. Okay? The Most High is going to make their sins as though they never happened. Isn't that something? Wow, you know what a what a blessing. You see? <sighs> what a reward. Who would who shouldn't want that? Except for a, well a degenerate would degenerates don't. So let's go back Jeremiah 17 and 10. I the Lord Yahweh Shai search the heart, meaning the mind, I try the reins. Even to give every man according to his ways. You know what? Let's do this. Let's get Jeremiah 17 and 10. All right. Jeremiah. Yeah, I was looking up Jacob's letter. Jeremiah 17. Because I wanted to do a lesson on Jacob's letter. And, uh. 10. Put them little diggity dots. And let's put it in the AMP. Let's look it up. All right. Let's see what it says. Okay. The Amplified Bible. Okay. Jeremiah 17 and 10. I, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim search and examine the mind. You see, I test the heart, meaning the mind, to give each man according to his ways, according to the results of his deeds, one's actions. All actions have a consequence. Okay? Even even thoughts, okay? Even thoughts. Because believe it or not, a thought, that's energy flow. You know? You know, you move, but there's movement in that thought. There's movement in thought. Things are moving throughout the mind to give a thought, you know? Movement is movement, nonetheless, <laughs> you know? So it says, to give each man according to his ways, according to the results of his deeds. What are one's deeds? Are one's deeds pleasing to the Heavenly Father and His Son? Or are they abhorred by the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and His Son? Okay? And it's one or the other. Okay? It's one or the other. Okay? Now let's get a scripture. Let's go back here. Alright. Let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes. Okay. Let's go to the last... Chapter 12, and let's start at uh, 13. Okay. Let me take this break. Damn, tennis elbow, boy. Shit, just don't stop. Old body's just breaking down. Ecclesiastes 12, because they, like the scriptures say, they worn out the saints. 
Okay, these goddamn devils, man. They don't care. Keep them lines and machines humming, you know? Ecclesiastes 12, A. And they gonna pay for that. Okay? Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. And this is this is for the Hebrew Israelites. Fear the heavenly father, Yahweh Yahweh and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Okay? For the heavenly father shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Now this applies to everybody. Okay? Everybody's going to be judged, but only the elect is going to receive a thawa, okay, and the mark of exemption, according to the book. Matter of fact, let's get that real fast. I'll get it in my scriptures. Let's go to the book of Ezekiel. Okay, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 9, let me put these back on, <clears throat> in verse 4, it says, And the Lord Yehovah Shem Shai said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, Yerushalayim, all right, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Okay. This particular mark is a mark of exemption. In the Hebrew, it is the word thawa. Okay. That's who we hope to receive. And our chances are good, you know, because what are we doing? We are doing this. We are sighing and crying. For all of the abominations that be done in the midst of, of our people, in the midst of this world. Okay? We are, 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 we are crying unto the Heavenly Father. Praying to the Heavenly Father. Begging. Okay? For Him to end this wickedness that is going on in this earth and, and, and in order to do that judgment is gonna gonna have to go for it okay and the wicked are have to, gonna have to be taken out of rulership put into subjection under the righteous starting with our lord and savior yahusha okay Um, let me read this again. <clears throat> it says, and the Lord said unto him, to the angel, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and set a mark, Thawa, <clears throat> upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry. And again, that's what you see the men of the Lord out doing. <clears throat> sighing and crying for the wickedness that is going on. Okay? This is modern day Sodom. This is modern day Egypt. This is this is Babylon the Great, the, the city of great confusion. This is just a terrible existence. And it's because the wicked are in rulership. Okay, the book of Proverbs, the 29th chapter, <clears throat> in the second verse, says that when the, the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. Okay, and everybody's catching hell. Even Edom. Everybody. Okay. Because the wicked are in rulership. All right. 
So let me go back. It says that sign they cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And the Heavenly Father hates abominations. Okay? And not only does he hate the act of the abominable act. Okay? But he also hates the actor. The person that's committing the act. You see? And that individual is going to be judged. The book of Psalms 5 and 5. Let me grab that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 5 and verse 4. I'm sorry, Salakia. Psalms 5 and 4. For thou art not a God or power that hath pleasure in wickedness. You see? Neither shall evil dwell with thee. Okay? The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers. Of iniquity. The worker is the person. Okay. So the heavenly father hates them people. Okay. And are we not. Following that. Are we not. After the heavenly father's own heart. Let me get up another scripture. Okay. Let's go to the book of Psalms. Um, let me see. Is it 139? Let me see. Let's go to the book of Psalms 139. I believe it is. Let me get there. Yep. And I'm going to read all the way to 24 because this goes right with where we started in Jeremiah 17. Okay, and then we're going to come back and we're going to finish out Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Okay, so this is the book of Psalms, chapter 139. I'm going to read the heading. It says, King David praises the Heavenly Father for his all-seeing providence to the chief musician, a Psalm of David. Okay, now let's go to verse, uh, let's start at 19. So this is the book of Psalms, chapter 139 and verse 19. Okay, it says, surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O most high Yahweh, by Shem Shai, depart therefore, Ye bloody men, for they speak against thee wickedly, and thine enemies take thy name in vain. Hmm. Do not I hate them, O Lord, Yahweh Yahushai, that hate thee? So we feel the same way. Because if you're going against, if you're doing abominable things, then you hate the Lord. Okay, only the elect is going to be is going to be following after righteousness. Okay. Everybody else hates the, he the heavenly father and his son. And it's evident. Look at the condition of this world. Even two thirds of our own people hate y'all by Shem Shai. That's why the Lord said in the book of St. John, the eighth chapter in the 44th verse, ye of your father, the devil. In the lust of your father, you will do. Okay. Psalms 139 and 19. Surely thou wilt slay the wicked, O Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Depart from me, therefore, ye bloody men. For they speak against thee wickedly. And thine enemies take thy name in vain. You got Jake that do that. Do not I hate them, O Lord, that hate thee? Absolutely. So we're just like we read in Psalms 140, uh, in Psalms uh, 5 and 4 and 5. Do not I hate them, O Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, that hate thee? Yes. 
And am I not grieved with those that rise up against thee? I hate them with a perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. The enemies of the Lord are our enemies also. Well, God, God don't like white people. God hate white people. General Yon. You shouldn't even say that. You shouldn't say it Edomites. Ding dongs, boy. Anyway, it says, I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them mine enemies. Okay. Now, it says, Search me, O Yahweh Bashim And I'm in Psalms 139 and 23. And know my heart, okay, or my mind, just like it was saying in Jeremiah uh, 17. Try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. That's the way we want to be led, okay? Everlasting life, Okay? That's what's going to win in the end. It's already winning. Well, it never lost. Okay? We just was away from it. Now we're back. I'm back, baby. Oh, Bender Rodriguez. Let's go back to... uh. Let's read Jeremiah 17 and... Uh, Ten again, and then we'll bring out this Ecclesiastes, and if the Spirit says the same, we'll close. So let's go back to Jeremiah 17, because that was lessons and lessons, uh, and 10. It says, I, the Lord, search the heart, I try the reins, okay, even to give every man according to his ways and according to the fruit of his doings. So whatever your doings produce. Okay. If you you do your doings are are righteous, you're sowing righteousness. Then, guess what's gonna spring out of that? Righteous uh doings, righteous what uh righteous results, which are are, are pleasing to the heavenly Father. Then you got vice versa. Okay. Um. And according to the fruit of his doings. So now that ties right back into it. Bringing back here in Ecclesiastes 12. And let's start back at 13. And again, this is only for Israel right here in verse 13. But verse 14 is going to apply to everybody. Okay. So here we are. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, because that is the beginning of it all. It all starts with the fear of the Lord. And fear produces results. It produces actions. If you fear, if you fear the Heavenly Father, you're gonna do what he says to do. Just like a child fears his father at home. Okay, when that fear is instilled, when you know you're gonna get a butt whipping, you're gonna do what you're supposed to do. And guess what? Things turn out better for you in the end. Your life is better in the end when you're disciplined. See, we're, we're watching a generation of little monsters that have lack of discipline. That's why they just, I got my oil changed. The girl that thought she was a dude, the whole time sat there and sung a song and boppity boop 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 the whole time talking to me and then she right back to the sink and my my the old lady my old lady riding with me she's looking at me like I said man she said I already know they all nuts they all gone and she don't know she ain't in the truth my old lady she don't know she don't know nothing about it. she you know she ain't into this but she can clearly see that this 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 young girl bugged out in the oil change and I, I intentionally, I uh, intentionally said, thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am? Okay, yes, ma'am. 
on purpose. And every time I said it, my demon, she was looking at us. And we talked about it later. She said, every time you said, ma'am, she like tensed up. I was like, hey, I don't give a fuck. Good. I'm going to let you know you a female. You know? You know, she she was like, yeah, this generation is just gone. I say, yeah, because they ain't had no discipline. This is the results of that. All that liberal freakism, just do whatever the hell, do as thou wilt. Alistair Crawley. Okay? And who is that? That's one of these devils. That's a devil philosophy. That's an evil philosophy. Just take the D off. Okay? That's wicked. You can't do as you want. Just do whatever the hell you... Oh, whatever's pleasing to you. Just do whatever you want to do. That's not how, you, how one's conversation is supposed to go. We got the, the conversation supposed to go right here. Let us... Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Heavenly Father and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. The Hebrew Israelite man. But see, these devils, they took on our, oh, we're God-fearing. Okay, well, we'll see. They're going to get judged for that. Okay? For the heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Okay? Even things that people think are hidden. Ain't nothing hidden from the Lord. The scriptures say his eyes are brighter than what? 10,000 times brighter than the sun? If I'm not mistaken. Roughly paraphrasing. There's nothing that the hell. He, made it, he makes it happen. He already knows what's going to happen. Okay? He knew before we were even in existence. Wow. How about that? Like, you know, Jake always want to go deep. How about that? What we doing has already happened in the Heavenly Father's mind. How about that? We, we can get deep. Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. For the Heavenly Father shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. So again, nothing is going to go un, un, unjudged, okay? Um, even thoughts, okay? Because again, trying the reins, trying the heart, okay? So people ain't even getting away with wicked thoughts, Okay? Um, and that's it. I'm gonna close. Lord willing, this was edifying, and 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 uh, like Elder Apostle Gabor was going into, uh, one of the greatest compliments you can get is you make this truth easy to be understood. You know, A B C, one two three. One plus one is two. Two plus two is four. Math. Okay. Truth, just plain and simple. Make it real, make it plain upon tables, as the scripture says. Okay? So hopefully this was edifying. All right? And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.